So what we're going to look at this afternoon um, is just the medals from the First World War. The Great War was an awful, awful conflict. And from the 4th of August 1914 to the 11th of November 1918, nearly 10 million Commonwealth Allied British servicemen fought in the trenches, not just in France and Flanders, but all across the world. And they were given a set of campaign medals to show where they'd been and how long they'd been there for. Now the medals were awarded in a very strange way because usually a medal is awarded for a period of time in a campaign. But for the First World War, they were awarded uh, as a set of medals, which would come many years later in the post, but they were awarded depending on what day it was that you landed in a theatre of operations. Now for the First World War, there are two star-shaped medals and two round ones. The first medal that we're going to have a quick look at is this one here, and this is called the 1914 Star. Now, this was for those men who went out with the British Expeditionary Force in 1914 between the 5th of August 1914 and the 22nd of November 1914. And if they came under physical German gunfire, then they were awarded this little clasp here, which has those same dates on it. It's sometimes known as the Mons Star, because this is the one that was given to those men who fought the Battle of Mons. If you went out to France from the 23rd of November 1914 to the 31st of December 1915, then you were awarded this star, which is called the 1914-15 star. Now, if you got one of the two stars, didn't matter which one, but if you got one of them, then you were always entitled to the two round medals. This one is the 1914-1920 British War Medal, and this one on the rainbow coloured ribbon is the 1914-1919 Victory Medal. Now the soldiers had names for these medals, and they called them Pip, Squeak and Wilfred. Now Pip, Squeak and Wilfred uh, in their day was a cartoon, uh, and it was um, a mixture of three little animals. They were, they were soft toys. Uh, one was a rabbit, one was a penguin, uh, and one was, I do believe, um, a bear. Uh, now, they, they were sort of tramps, these poor little guys, and they had all of their possessions in a wheelbarrow. And they pushed their wheelbarrow around and they tried to help people. They were nice little people. And they found that their life consisted of being shouted at a lot. And they were always hungry, they were always tired, always cold, and it was always raining. And the soldiers themselves thought, ah, yeah, we've got that. Yeah, we understand that. That's us, Hip, Squeak and Wilfred. Now, if you went out to France, Flanders, or wherever it was that you were going to in the First World War in the theater of operations after the 1st of January, 1916, up to the end of the war, then you were only entitled to the two medals known as the pair, or as you now know, Squeak and Wilfred. But they weren't called Squeak and Wilfred. They were actually called Mutt and Jeff. And they were called Mutt and Jeff, again, a cartoon. But this time they were two tramps who were ne'er-do-wells. They were always drunk. They were always being arrested by the police. They were always trying to take the easiest route to go from A to C rather than the hard way, which would be the right way. And unfortunately, the soldiers who had won Pip, Squeak and Wilfred considered those who only got these two as ne'er-do-wells. They considered them as people who had not tried hard enough. And whilst they had been fighting out in 14 and 15, where had these people been? Now that doesn't take into consideration that these are the medals that were won by people who only became 18 in 1918 or 1917. So they couldn't really have been there in 1914. The other thing that is really sad about this is that whilst these men fought at Mons, they fought at Festubert or Bears Ridge, they fought at the Battle of Luz, which were terrible battles. The men who came afterwards in 1916, 17 and 18 took more casualties in 1917 than the th previous three years of the war put together. And these were the men who only got these two who fought the Battle of the Somme. They fought the Battle of Passchendaele. They stopped the German spring advance in 1918 
and they fought the Hundred Day Battle in the advance to victory. And these were the guys who won the First World War. And they were not treated like that by their own compatriots. So there they are, the, the medals of the First World War, um, humble medals. And we do see them around. And if you do see them around, you have to remember that each one of those medals was won by someone who went off and fought the bloodiest war this world has ever seen.